Hi, this is Dr. P to talk briefly about an old, in game terms, marketing notion that may make a comeback. Ransom games. This is before there was Kickstarter and other uh, places where you could do crowdfunding. Apparently it was invented by Greg Stolze, who writes fiction and also designs games. It's crowdfunding with a difference. The prospective author or designer offers to write something or to make a game, but he'll give it away to everyone if he receives sufficient backing. So the game would have to be a video game or a PNP where you could get the files so that the copying would cost nothing. If there's insufficient backing, then the fiction or the game doesn't get done. Well, if you think about it, this is a good way to thwart piracy. There won't be any piracy if anybody can make a copy anytime they want. It's kind of like free to play in video games, except in video games, you get your money by putting in game purchases into the game. Or with Ransom, you're getting your money up front. And I've thought of doing this for a book because books are a field where piracy is rampant. And so it's hard to make money in the long run and what you do get comes in slowly. I can speak from experience. So what Ransom would do would let you get your money up front and piracy would be irrelevant because everybody could have a copy. And from a point of view of building your brand that would be useful as well. More people would see your book. However, expectations have changed when game people do a Kickstarter or Indiegogo or something like that, they expect to receive an exclusive benefit. That is, only they receive the game, not everybody. Now, I've seen Kickstarters that offer a print and play version of the game for $10 or so. I don't know if any of them give away the print and play version, but that might be a good marketing tactic. However, people backing games on Kickstarter, at least, are going for the production, not the game. They often go in because they're nice miniatures or metal coins or something like that. A drawback of the original method was the author or designer had to organize the pledges and the collection of funds himself or herself. And Stolze now uses Kickstarter with at least 33 projects, at least one of which was an RPG. But I've noticed in his latest, he's providing ebooks apparently not giving it away to everyone. So he sort of joined the Kickstarter style. So the question is, is this still a viable method? And I don't know. But if I were producing plug or print and play games, I'd certainly try it. Again, it's a way to avoid the problem of piracy, which is rampant in any field, music, games, whatever, books, where it costs nothing to make a copy. So video game free-to-play can be seen as a form of ransom. And I think if tabletop games ever find an analog to video free-to-play, it's going to be through some form of ransom and print-and-play.